Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some unboxing of products uh, that I have on that table back there. And then I'm also gonna do a ton of filming. I wanna try to get in three to four haircuts uh, for you guys that will spread us out throughout the week. I wanna post a video every single day uh, of some kind of education. So we're gonna start off the video and sitting here, I'm gonna film um, obviously the review of these products. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna get started with the review. Let's take out um, these products and have some fun with them. Uh, so here we go. Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with an uh, unboxing special video for you guys. I posted a picture of this box on Instagram. It's from Mizutani. I'm really excited to show you guys what's inside. This is a brand new scissor. I'm gonna open the box. I don't really know much about this scissor yet, so this is really just an unboxing showing you guys uh, what's coming. So let's take our scissors. Oh, check it out. Somebody guessed shoes on Instagram. So it's not shoes, it's not a blow dryer. Um, it is a new pair of scissors. All right, so here is the new scissor. Ooh. Let me open up plastic. There is nothing better than putting a brand new pair of scissors in your hands. Now, this is the Nano Powder Metal Slim Blade scissor. Um, I believe, uh, yeah, this is a six inch. I'm super excited about this. You guys are gonna see that. Let me see if I can get zoomed in on this. Clear, I can make it. But look how skinny this blade is. Hang on one second, let me get another pair so I can compare it and show it to you. Let's just show you the Type-Z2. Now there's nothing wrong with having a thick blade. Um, this is really personal preference for people. The more, usually, the thicker the blade, the more powerful the blade is. The thing that I like about this, it's not like the beak, so it doesn't have a really, really skinny blade. What it has is, uh, it's a little bit fatter here, which is nice because it will still give you that power, but it's skinny uh, this direction. So anytime you're working close to your fingers, uh, it's really easy to get in there and work with the scissor. So here is the comparison from the Type Z2 and the uh, Slim Blade. The only thing, like I'm saying guys, the only thing that makes that different and really is a benefit is when you're working with precision cutting, a lot of times you wanna be able to get nice and tight into your fingers, working on top of your fingers. This blade's gonna be razor sharp. It's also nano powder metal, so it's gonna grip the hair really well. Like I said, I, I haven't used this scissor yet. I'm gonna use it all day today filming these videos, but I can tell you right now, this is going to be my precision scissor for sure from now on. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. More to come, watch the videos. I will be cutting hair with these scissors. Oh, and you're probably wondering what is in the Amazon box. Okay, so, Let's put it this way. I got, Anda sent me a ton of clipper stuff. So I needed a place to store them because right now, I believe, yeah, they're all in this drawer just sitting here. So I wanna show you guys what I ordered. I got two sets of uh, clipper blades from Andis. So I bought two of these plastic cases that will allow me to store my metal blades in, uh, in the clipper case. So uh, you guys can get this on Amazon if you want to, but the blades just sit in there just like that. And, uh, and you can store them all, keep them safe, travel with them, whatever you want to do. But uh, so I wanted to order a couple of these. I don't like the blades just sitting around in the salon getting gross and uh, beat up because they can break easily and they're not cheap. So um, thank you to Andis for sending me these blades and uh, all the metal guards and the clippers, and uh, thank you to myself for ordering this from Amazon. But all right, so now I'm going to get things set up in the salon. I filmed the review that I wanted to film, so now I got to pull down the backdrop, and get everything set for filming haircuts. So. Here we go. All right, so I am set up to film back there. Uh, 
but I gotta figure out, I'm gonna find your guys' questions, and then as soon as I have that figured out, then I will start filming. Okay, so here is a fun trick that um, I figured out last week when I was filming. So those of you guys that are filming haircuts, um, I wanna show you guys the easiest way to focus on the hair when you're filming by yourself. So here is, uh, so new toys are always nice, but um, before I had a little bit different screen. Uh, so basically, I use a Canon 6D. The, the challenge with the 6D is that it doesn't have a flip out screen, so you can't see what you're doing while you're filming. So I like to use an external screen. This screen I got the Atomos, uh, I believe it's the Ninja Assassin. Um, pretty cool. The cool thing about it is it will record on its own hard drive, so any camera that you run into it, you can record straight onto that. Plug it in your computer, you have tons of space um, I think I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive in that, so I could film all day long on the same card. Now, that's not the interesting part. So here's the deal. When you're filming by yourself, I'm here cutting like this. I'm holding this, I'm looking at that screen to make sure I'm focused. So the trick is that you take a comb and you put it up against the head. A white comb works the best. So if I take that comb, I put it up against the head then I go to focus the camera, you can see that the teeth are all showing through. If it's out of focus, let me see if I can somehow show you guys. I'll show you what it looks like out of focus. Here we go, out of focus. So now when you look at it, see how the comb is blurry? So as soon as I start to adjust it, let's just stick it in there. As soon as I start to adjust the camera and put it into focus, the teeth show up. So, little fun fact. Those of you guys that are filming and you're trying to do it by yourself, I know this is a new part of the industry, but it's a really cool way to make sure you're in focus because the worst thing you can possibly do is spend all day filming haircuts, trust me, and have your footage out of focus and unusable because you don't want to use videos that aren't good. So, um, cool way to do it. Also, I'm talking on a Canon uh, 70D, has its own external screen. So if you guys are in the market for a new camera, I would go 70D on, the, on your videos, and uh, then you don't have to buy the external screen. So it just works out best if you're on a budget. Also, the great thing about the 70D is it does do autofocus, which is cool for vlogging and things like that, walking around, but when you're doing a haircut, you don't want autofocus because sometimes it can focus on you and not the haircut. It can focus on your hand moving. So you wanna keep the, the uh, manual focus in there. So get um, a way to stay focused on your haircut. Every time you move the head, make sure you refocus. That's a tip of the day. I don't even know if you guys care about that stuff. Let me know if you do because I have a lot more tips on that stuff as well. Uh, so I'm gonna get back to cutting hair. So again, that's another day of filming. I actually had a camera explode uh, sometime throughout the day, so uh, which is the one I usually vlog with. So hope I got enough footage for today, but I'm gonna put it out anyways. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of the vlog um, below.